Z, here's the group. So, wow, a new one does make a difference. Okay, Z6 times Z4 divided by the group generated by this element. Right? You're asked to find, a, now that's a quotient group. Uh, so um, let's, well, I, I guess the first thing, maybe we should prove that uh, this is in fact, uh, firstly, is it, is it a subgroup? Uh, is it a normal subgroup? If it's a normal subgroup, then the quotient group is defined. And, uh, all right, now it's angular brackets. So uh, that means uh, this, this is, by definition, because the angular brackets, is the uh, subgroup, not just subset, subgroup, generated by this element. Right? So uh, let's, let's just call this H. That's G, of course. So what is H? You know, uh, well, what, what are... You know, what, what is this uh, subgroup? Well, it's... Uh, <clears throat> now, th this, is a, this is a product group, right? And this is the ordered pair. That, so that's... This is one member of this, uh, of this group. So... Now, if we do that to itself... Uh, now, we're in the context of um, these... These groups here, they the, as a set, they are set a set of what? Of uh, residue classes. The, the members, like the now we did it um, previous previous session. Like what is Z four? Uh, it's the yeah, it was it was it was of this form. Right? The, the, these are residue classes. That form, and you, you can uh, shorten you can shorten that just shorthand. It's just you, know, you can you can treat these residue classes uh, as integers, right? Okay, so uh, so do this. Oh, and and um, the binary operation here uh, is effectively plus. So if I do that twice, if I add, if I binary operate two of these are the same, uh, the next one I'll get 4-4. Four, four. Now look, uh, this is mod 4, so that becomes 0. All right? Okay, uh, so add 2-2 two, two to this and I'll get 6 and 2. But uh, six, yeah, you know, this is the first, the first one, but it's mod six, so this is zero, all right? And uh, so the next, you know, let's add two, two to that, and I'll get two, and add two to that, I get four, but it's mod four, so this will be zero. And now is that it? check so question four so what we're, we're determining the elements now of your subgroup uh, question question four so I haven't quite I haven't quite finished yet so okay so add two more and we'll get uh, Two, right? And then add two, you know, add two two again, and we'll get six and four. Now it's mod six and mod four, so these become just not not. Right? Now if we add if we add two two again to this, uh, like that, that's two two to the one. This is 
2, 2 to the 2, this is 2, 2 to the 3, 2, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2, 2 to the 6. Uh, and that's the unit, right? Uh, and now if we go 2, 2 to the 7th, you'll get 2, 2 here. But that's a repeat, right? So that's it. Oh, damn. Damn. Right? So, uh, so that means that the size of H... Uh, now let's see, um, is it, uh, now this group is, it's abelian, isn't it? Because we're just talking, we're just talking addition of, uh, we're just adding numbers effectively. So uh, A plus B is equal to B plus A. So that's a billion. Yeah, that's a billion. Because uh, Z4 times Z6, same thing. Okay, so that's a billion. Therefore, any subgroup is uh, normal. Right? Therefore, this is normal. This, this is normal. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six elements. So the size of this subgroup, now it's the... Uh, by definition, this is the group generated by this element, right? So uh, the order of this subgroup, subgroup is six, okay? Now what's, what's the order of this? So what's the order of G, the group here? Well, six by four, that's 24, all right? What's the order of your quotient group? Well, it'll be... Remember the formula, it's, it's uh, the size of the group divided by the size of your subgroup, your normal subgroup, which is H. So that would be 24 divided by, well, what is the size of this? Well, it's 6, right? So it's 4. So our um, quotient group is of order 4. And a group of order 4 is... Um, there are only two types, two non-isomorphic types, right? Uh, Zoisocyclic group, so it'll be C4. And the other only possibility for a, a, a group of order 4, I think from memory, is C2 times C2, right? So this uh, quotient group will be isomorphic either to... C4, you the cyclic group of order 4, or isomorphic to C2 times C2. You only have two choices, because there are only two kinds, two types of uh, groups of order 4. Right? Okay, uh, now, what, what are the... So... So we know that the quotient group is of order 4, therefore there will be 4 cosets. So let's find the cosets, and what are they? Uh, now that's your H, right? That, that is your H. And after, now if you, you go through systematically, you, you use uh, what I was explaining before, uh, theorem was it 46.2? You know, in other words, if uh, an element belongs to two different cosets, those cosets are not different. They have the same elements, right? So you use that trick. So systematically calculate um, all possible uh, left cosets, and you'll have you'll have 24 24 possibles, right? You know, remember, remember, a left coset is just of the form G H, right? And how many elements here do you have? You know, these little G, they're just elements of, of your big group G. So you have 24 of them. And uh, we know we only have uh, four elements in the quotient group. And remember, a quotient group consists of cosets. Right? The members are cosets. And we only have four of them, four cosets. But we have uh, 24 candidates. So five sixths of them get thrown out. Five sixths are repeats. Okay. So you now use that uh, forty-six sec, forty theorem, forty-six second part, 
uh, you know, the idea that uh, if an element belongs to two cosets, those two cosets are the same. So use that to throw out the repeats. And after you do that, I won't go into all the details, but uh, I'll just write down the, uh, the, the cosets. So the cosets are, there's only, there only be four of them, right? So uh, there's H itself, and then uh, right. That, that's that's now that's one of your G's. That's one of, a little G. That's that's one. Of, and uh, these are the non non redundant. The the non repeats. that uh, technique uh, did in a previous session uh, of uh, applying theorem 46 second part uh, any element that belongs to two different cosets shows that those two different cosets are not different they're the same so you can throw out the repeats and you're doing a lot of throwing out because uh, of the 24 possibles uh, cosets only four of them uh, you know, none repeats the other 20 of them you throw out. All right, so here, here are your four cosets. 